started paying for things with our phones, even watches. One company, though, wants to take that technology to another level by implanting a chip in your hand. <laughs> So, the overseas company Walletmore is selling the microchip in parts of Europe. It's about the size of a grain of rice, goes under the skin, it's Ouch. then activated using a digital wallet app. Mm. The chip is going for about $300, mm. and the company says at least 200 people have gotten them implanted already. Who I would have people? many questions for a doctor about right. that. Yeah, how, how healthy is that Didn't look very micro, you? did it? No. <laughs> it was pretty big. I mean, it was a pretty big chip. I mean, you know a paper cut hurts. You're going to yes. put a thing like that, you know, in what your hand. What happens if you have to change banks? You got to like, get right. that you got to change it, it out. In. I don't know. I ain't interested in it. Keep me it away from me. I just want to know how it affects your body. Yeah, it can't be good. It mm -hmm. can't be good to put some electronic device in your body and keep it there. Mm -hmm. Ooh good luck with that. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechaha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles, even the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, want to say honors to your other brethren as well, you followers of the truth, and Shalom to the elect. So, I don't know where I'm going to go with this video. I'm not going to say very much because of the nature of this video. We all know what it is that's in the note. So, I remember, the reason why I did this video, I'll get to the point. There's a reason why I did this video. I remember uh, maybe two days ago, um, Apostle Taha did a video, and he was going into how guys, they may follow us, they sneak follow this doctrine, and they may take a little bit what they want, and then leave out the rest. And then he also went into how the scoffers aren't scoffing as much anymore. So this video is titled, Give Me a Five. <laughs> Hand implant allows you to pay as you go. So I said, well, let me look at the comments. And this is who I've seen, Bishop Melchizedek. This is a guy that kind of comes against us. I don't know if he's with IUIC. Or, but he says, you hear the laugh even you know, this man, you know, we know what it says, E. Even this man knows, basically. And um, I guess I want to talk about a little bit because the news reporters were saying they don't understand how this is going to, you know, this is not safe. It's not, I don't understand how anybody can do it or this or that. But we've seen things that just happen over the fat past few years that all the details are pretty much worked out. So that's pretty much all I'm going to say. It doesn't take very much. So anyway, again, I, I'm going to just make the video short. I wonder what IHBK, IUIC, and these various other groups will have to say about this. Uh, House of Israel, you as well. Right? You got to come out of that stubbornness. Well, you're meant to be. So let me get a scripture real quick. It's not going to be long. Luke 8 and 17. For nothing is, nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. So you always have a left hand and a right hand side. But even on the right hand side, Matthew 13 and 9, it said it is given to you to know the mystery, which is a form of a secret. So the Most High is going to keep this secret, the mystery, only for his elect. But on the other end, all will, you know, basically the elect will reveal the secrets. The men of the Lord will reveal all the secrets. So you, you must have the mystery, you know, to get to the kingdom. So you can't have your shirt fringes and everything else going on. And you're following all the laws, you're doing everything to the best of your ability, so-called, until the next phase. And then what? So I just wanted to touch on that. Let's go to Proverbs uh, 26 and 26. Whose hatred? Now, let me go to 26 and 25. I don't know where this is going, really. When he speaketh fair, believe him not. For there are seven abominations in his heart, <laughs> whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be shewed before the whole congregation, right? Which is 
even our people, but it's going to them. You know, that's all. You know, I'm not going to say very much on this video. Let me read this again. When he speaketh fair, believe him not. And we know who this is. For there are seven abominations in his heart. Now you had this guy, um, General Yohanna. We seen in the videos what he said for everybody to do. But it clearly says, don't believe him. Okay? But, you know, you can't really love your people in, in um, pushing that ideology, man. But we know this is going to this man whose hatred is covered by deceit. It's a lot, you know, that I would like to say, but I'm not going to say. His wickedness shall be shewed before the whole congregation. Anyway, I wonder what those groups, this is my whole point. A lot of those guys that scoffed against Great Millstone, they are now on these videos leaving comments. So I find that kind of, you know, weird. And maybe that explains why, as Apostle Taha said, the scoffers aren't scoffing like that now, you know. Eventually, you got to soak up your pride and see the light. That's all I have on that. Shalom.